there are new toll rules on national highways and with that you can travel 20 kilometers free of charge but it's not that straightforward there's a new system introduced it is called the global navigation satellite system or gnss which you'll need in your vehicle to avail this free travel much like fastag this will soon become mandatory as the government is pushing for this so what exactly is gnss the global navigation satellite system is a broad term for any satellite based system that helps determine your location like the us's gps technology which we are using on our phones gnss uses gps and other similar systems from different countries all working together to give you better results. Road Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari has rolled out plans for GNSS and we are now entering the first phase. On September 10, the government revised the National Highways Fee Rules 2008. Under these new rules, if you travel up to 20 kilometers on toll roads, you will be charged zero user fees in each direction in a day. For trips longer than 20 kilometers, the road users are charged on the distance they have traveled on the tolled national highway stretch. However, this does not apply to national permit vehicles as per the ministry's notification. Plus, to avail it, vehicles need to be fitted with onboard units featuring GNSS. In July, the Road Transport Ministry said the pilot on GNSS was done on two NH stretches, Bengaluru Mysore section on NH 275 in Karnataka and Panipat Hisar section of NH 709 in Haryana. The ultimate goal of this system is to create toll plaza free highways. Unlike the current fast tag system, which relies on physical toll booths, GNSS introduces virtual toll booths. These virtual booths monitor vehicle distance and location and capture essential vehicle information such as type, registration number and bank account details. Initially, this system will be implemented on key highways and expressways. But there are questions. If I have tracking devices in my car, what about my privacy? And does this mean the end of fast tag? Privacy issues have been raised in the parliament and it's reported that the government will use India's Gagan satellite system to ensure data security within the country. And no, Fastag isn't disappearing anytime soon. When Fastag was introduced in 2016, it took five years to make it mandatory. GNSS will work alongside Fastag for now. To streamline toll collection, there may be dedicated lanes for vehicles equipped with GNSS onboard units. However, there are still significant challenges. For one, privacy concerns still remain and the cost of implementation could impact consumers. GNSS will integrate with technologies like automatic number plate recognition and fast tag systems covering India's extensive road network, which is the second largest in the world. While India has shown it can adopt digital technologies, substantial infrastructure upgrades will be needed. GNSS will eventually replace Fastag and there are concerns that it could potentially lead to higher toll costs for users.